A rainbow is a multicolored arc made by light striking water droplets. The most familiar type of rainbow is produced when sunlight strikes raindrops in front of a viewer at a precise angle which is 42 degrees. Rainbows can also be viewed around fog, sea spray, or waterfalls. A rainbow is an optical illusion. It does not actually exist in a specific spot in the sky. The appearance of a rainbow depends on where you are standing and where the sun or other source of light is shining. The sun or other source of light is usually behind the person seeing the rainbow. In fact, the center of a primary rainbow is the antisolar point, the imaginary point exactly opposite the sun. Rainbows are the result of the refraction and reflection of light. Both refraction and reflection are phenomena that involve a change in a wave's direction. A refracted wave may appear bent, while a reflected wave might seem to bounce back from a surface or other wave front. Light entering a water droplet is refracted. It is then reflected by the back of the droplet. As this reflected light leaves the droplet, it is refracted again at multiple angles. Now, rainbows are actually full circles. The antisolar point is the center of the circle. Viewers and aircraft can sometimes see these circular rainbows. Viewers on the ground can only see the light reflected by raindrops above the horizon. Because each person's horizon is a little different, no one actually sees a full rainbow from the ground. In fact, no one sees the same rainbow. Each person has a different antisolar point. Each person has a different horizon. Someone who appears below or near the end of a rainbow to one viewer will see another rainbow extending from his or her own horizon. A rainbow shows up as a spectrum of light, a band of familiar colors that include red, orange, yellow, green, blue, and violet. The name Roy Jibiv is an easy way to remember the colors of the rainbow and the order in which they appear red, orange, yellow, green, blue, indigo, and violet. Many scientists, however, think indigo is too close to blue to be truly distinguishable. White light is how our eyes perceive all the colors of the rainbow mixed together. Sunlight appears white. When sunlight hits a rain droplet, some of the light is reflected. The electromagnetic spectrum is made of light with many different wavelengths and each is reflected at a different angle. Thus, spectrum is separated, producing a rainbow. Red has the longest wavelength of visible light, while violet has the shortest wavelength, and it usually appears on the inner arc of the rainbow. At their edges, the colors of a rainbow actually overlap. This produces a sheen of white light, making the inside of a rainbow much brighter than the outside. Visible light is only part of a rainbow. Infrared radiation exists just beyond visible red light, while ultraviolet is just beyond violet. There are also radio waves beyond infrared, X-rays beyond ultraviolet, and gamma radiation beyond X-rays. Scientists use an instrument called a spectrometer to study these invisible parts of the rainbow. This is Armil, by the way. Thank you for listening.